Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Blaine KX YouTube channel. So if you're watching this video, you are here for one reason. You want to learn how to ride a dirt bike. How to ride a dirt bike. We will start with the basics, we'll work our way up. So y'all stay tuned. We'll go over the bike real quick, go over the different parts, what they do, and then we'll go from there. So every bike is gonna be different, obviously. This is a Kawasaki 140G. It does not have a kickstart, it only has an electric start, which if you don't know, electric start is. Push the button and it starts. All right. So, right here, you have your shift lever, which is going to be one down. So, if you go down, you're in first. Halfway up is neutral. And then the rest of the way up is two, three, four, five. I'll put a little picture up on the screen kind of showing you that as well. Okay. So, you got your shifter. You got your foot brake. So this right here is going to be your rear brake. So this is going to be what you push down with your foot. Hopping on the bike now. A couple different things. Like I said, every bike is going to be different. You have your throttle. You have your front brake. You have your clutch. You got your kill switch. Electric start. And then right here I have a choke. Every bike's going to be different. Some chokes are down here on the side. Some bikes have a key. These do not have a key, unfortunately. I really wish they did. But my key is my kill switch. So flip it on and the light turns on. So to start the bike, you're going to want to make sure you're in neutral. Now, easiest way to do that, grab your clutch. Press down all the way till it won't go anymore to make sure you get in the first. And then up a half a click. If you did it right... Your bike should start with no clutch needed. Now, I mean, if you're in, if you're in gear and you hit your switch to start it, and it won't start, that means you're in gear. So you can either pull your clutch in and start it that way, or easiest way, especially for starting, is just get it in neutral. Practice getting it in neutral. So kill switch on, start bike. All right, we're running. How to ride. So I remember when I first started riding a dirt bike, I really struggled with the taking off part. Everything else was pretty easy to me. All right, clutch in. First gear, okay? Now I want you to listen here. I don't know if you can hear in the mic or not because it's in my helmet, but listen. Hear that the bike's kind of like almost purring a little bit different than when it's just idling like right now. And it starts to want to roll forward. Hear that? See that? Hear that sound? So, when you hear that sound, you're going to want to give it just a little bit of throttle. You don't have to slam it. And you don't want to give it not enough. You'll find the sweet spot the more you practice with it. If it's your first time ever riding, it's definitely going to take you a couple tries to actually get a hang of it. So we're going to go back to neutral, which is a half click up. A lot of people, you know, when you start out, you might either not give it enough throttle, which is going to kill it like that. Or they might give it too much throttle, which is going to pop that front end up. Which are two things you don't want to do, especially if you're new. You don't want to pop the front end up. So back, we're back in neutral, and you're just going to really want to just practice. First gear, letting out the clutch while giving it just a little bit of gas. That's all it takes to get going. So right around the area, just first gear, get used to the balance. Slower speed, you can turn the wheel to steer. It's not really recommended or you're going to fall over. But how you steer a dirt bike is you're actually going to lean your body weight. So along with turning the wheel a little bit. So like, I need a turn. All I'm doing is just leaning my weight to one side or the other. And you'll find like the handlebars are going to turn with you on it. So we got how to take off, we got how to turn. So next thing, next important thing for once you get taken off, you know, just put around for a bit get the feel of riding you don't have to floor it 
just you know you just give it a little bit of throttle you can get moving all right as you hear the engine revving up and getting closer and louder you're going to want to shift so to shift you're going to pull your clutch in use your foot to pull up and there you go second gear every time that you shift you want to make sure you pull that clutch in especially starting out you can shift by rev matching a bike like that but that's way above what we're doing now so we're in second gear now get you know second gear is a little bit faster don't go more than you're comfortable but right now we're in second gear you know all right we're getting closer to that rev limiter clutch in shift up you, you see people like on YouTube and whatnot, people that have been riding longer, they're going to be fast shifting like this. They're going to be flying through the gears. Starting out, you don't really want to do that. Just nice and slow. Get the feel for the bike. Downshifting is the same concept as upshifting. Get your down slower in that gear that you're in. Clutch in, downshift, and let out. If you are going... Let me show you here. So I'm going fast in second gear, right? If I try to downshift the first as I'm hitting the rev limiter, your bike's gonna slow you down to that second or to that first gear speed. So it's gonna jerk you. Don't want to do that. finally stopping so stopping is what a lot of people I see struggle with oh my gosh chill oh <laughs> you don't want to grab your front you don't just want to grab your front brake or you're going to lock up that front wheel and you're gonna go flying you don't want to do that easiest way to stop for me at least, if you're running at a slower speed, kick it down to neutral. You'll know in neutral if you let off the clutch and you don't, and you can just tell by the engine noise. And then your foot brake, either you can come to a rolling stop or you can gradually, just slowly use that foot brake to come to a stop. As you get more experience and you get more comfortable riding the bike, you'll notice people stopping with both brakes. So gradually using the foot brake, gradually using the front brake works. As you get more advanced, you can use the front brake to stop. You can just gradually pull it just enough to stop you. But like I said, if you watch, if you just grab it, that front end nose dives and you're either going to wreck or you're going to flip. And it's just not going to be a good day for you if you stop like that by just grabbing. See, as you can see, ready? Rolling, grab the front brake, jerk you forward. Don't want to do that. So, bike in neutral. If you have a kickstand, make sure you use that. But yeah, I hope this video is helpful. Leave in the comments if you have any more questions about how to ride a bike. If you want me to do a more in depth video on different components, what they do, everything from the front tire to the back all the in-betweens i could definitely make a video explaining everything to you if you don't know already but anyways hope you all enjoyed the video hope you learned a lot y'all take care be sure to check out some more of my other riding content if you're new to the channel i have a bunch of videos up of me doing different stuff from almost falling in a pond to chasing down dirt bikers the whole ordeal exploring y'all take care have a great night